Yeah, it's time for the entertainment already on Ghana Talk Show. And I go by the name Regina Bless. So without wasting my time, moving to our headlines. Real I, royal experts believe Meghan Markle and Prince Harry getting banned from taking pictures of Lilibert with Queen Elizabeth was unnecessarily mean. Royal biographer Christopher Anderson made this claim in his interview with the Daily Beast. He was quoted saying Archie had his photo taken with the Queen and Prince Philip when he was two days old. To deny this to Lily on her first birthday just seems unnecessarily mean-spirited. The Queen could have overruled her handlers on this one issue and of course, she could have allowed the Sussex to appear on the balcony with the rest of the family at some point during the Jubilee. Before concluding the commenter, this was a historic event and to exclude Harry and Meghan from the visual record just seems wrong. Moving to our next story. British actor fumed for branding unattractive Meghan Markle strange and sick. Meghan Markle fans are not happy with the recent writing piece, identifying the unattractive qualities of the Duchess. In an article written by Andrew, the Duchess of Sussex is branded insane and PR hungry after her Texas visit to rob school students. The unremarkable Meghan Markle reads flying with staff bodyguard and camera crew to prevent to a private airfield near Uvled. She was raked into a black van, amply photographed and home before dark. Job done, it's a wrap. Was this some strange, sick, unspeakable parody of a royal visit? What the hell was it? The author continued. Is she insane? Not exactly. Although many of her least attractive qualities are tucked into the DSM Five, the article further mocked. Responding to the article, many jumped in to save Megan from the decent remarks. Seriously, what is your problem with her? Move on, wrote one. Seems he suffers from the same complaint. P.S. Morgan does. Wrote another while a third added. Neil and Pierce are obsessed with her. Wow, if I never read that at her again, it will be a blessing, concluded one. Moving to our next story. Chris Evans react to criticism over light year. Chris Evans, who voices the main character in light year, has applauded moves to reflect all types of people and said those who react negatively should be disregarded. The real truth is those people are idiots, Evans said in an interview with Reuters Television ahead of the debate of light year in theaters on Friday. Every time there has been social advancement as we wake up, the American story, the human story is one of the constant social awakening and growth and that's what makes us good, he added. Chris Evans remark comes after light year was banned in 14 countries. Lightyear is a prequel to Pixar's acclaimed Toy Story franchise. Chris Evans voices the lead character, Booz Lightyear, a legendary space ranger. So Justin Bieber offers raw update on facial paralysis scare. Justin Bieber has just taken to social media and offered some insight into his facial paralysis scare. The singer shared this update on Instagram stories and it featured an in-depth overview of his current symptoms and even reassured die-hard fans of his continued improvement. Wanted to share a little bit of how I have been feeling. Each day has gotten better and through all of the discomfort, I have found comfort in the one who designed me and knows me. After offering some insight, he also admitted. He knows the darkest part of me that I want no one to know about and he constantly welcomes me into, into his loving arms. This perspective has given me peace during this horrific storm that I'm facing. I know this storm will pass but in the meantime, Jesus is with me. Justin Bieber says I wish you speedy recovery. So, Kojo Manuel backs two nominations at the Ghana Entertainment Awards USA. 
Kojo Mano has been nominated in the Best Radio Personality and Best Hype Man MC categories. The 2022 edition of the biggest Ghanaian entertainment gathering in the diaspora is scheduled to come off on Friday, July 8, 2022 at the Tribica Performing Arts Center in New York. In the Best Hype Man MC category, he faces Jerry Ajololo, George Bellaman, MC Jeremy Oge, the MC Doreen, J. Flia, J. Time, and MC Caprito. While in the Best Radio Personality category, Kojomano comes up against City FM's Bernard and the Doshti of Multimedia Group, Adum FM's Ohimawe J. Multimedia Lexus Bill, Giovanni Kalep of Media General, Doreen of Multimedia Group, Dr. Pounce, Nana Romeo, DJ Slim. So the king of the MIC is poised to sweep home both awards. Nante Chikusi Manuel, popularly known as Kojomano, is the host of the most exciting and fun packed radio program, Die of Your Life, on Y107.9 FM. He does not only come across as a radio presenter but doubles as an event host, MC Hype Man, and artist. So he was crowned as the best event hype man at the Ghana Event Awards 2021 and best MC at Ghana DJ Awards 2019, and also the best hype man at the White Clash of the DJs 2022. He has hosted some of the biggest events in Ghana and recently in Cote d'Ivoire at the La Sunday event with Afro Chelly. So we're going to watch some of his events. <laughs> Yeah, so moving to our next entertainment story, Prata Palmer's heart with romantic birthday message to wife to quash divorce rumors. So the wife of the Ghanaian rapper marked her birthday, but Prata Palmer went silent, although many speculated that her silence on his wife's birthday confirms their split. However, just when his wife's birthday was about to end, but a peasy pulled a surprise. He dropped romantic text on social media to say that I wanted to be the last person to wish you on this special day. He continued that you have brought meaning to my life and made it worth living. I look forward to coming home to you every day, lying down next to you every single night and making, waking up next to you every single morning. If I ever fail to tell you what you mean to me, it is only because there aren't any words good enough. Happy birthday, my sweet wife, he concluded. So the message has won admiration from fans of one corner who wonder how he put up such a sweet message in the English language. Always bless God for allowing me to write good English for you. A Facebook wrote and another said, On him a happy birthday, oh, I come in peace. So Patapa started dating Liha in early 2019 after his infamous Europe tour where reports claim that he performed for 16 people at one of his major concerts two years later. 
The lovers said, I do, to each other at their Swedro wedding held on 2nd January 2021. So that is the life story of Patapa. So moving to our last entertainment story, Abna Koko shows off expensive ring and real boyfriend in new video. So Abna Koko has healed from her recent broken heart and has found love in another man. So the mental health advocate who was on social media expressing how wicked men are also describing the pain she went to has been seen looking happy. Coco was seen all over her new lover while showing him off to her social media fans and even going extra. The video cited online captured Abna Coco in a video with her new boyfriend holding hands and publicly displaying affection towards him. Let's go take a look. Yeah, so as we all see, but you know, Ghana, social media users are, however, asking if what Abna Koko was showing was true love or she caught another innocent but rich gentleman to be added to her infamous list. I don't know your take on this, but you should put it into consideration. So, this is where we end the entertainment hub right on Ghana Talks Radio. But before I leave, don't forget to download the Ghana Talks Radio app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Or you can visit our website for more interesting stuff. You can www.ganatalksradio.com and also don't forget to follow us on all social media handles at Ghana Talks Radio at exactly 6 to 10 p.m. GMT. Join DJ Cobra Rich, the richest selector, as he drives you home. Stay tuned.